Welcome to your inspirational astrology horoscope for Wednesday, October 1st, 2014. I'm astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Rabbit, rabbit, it's the first day of the month. Hope everybody's doing awesome. And guess what? My October 2014 webinar is now available for download for sure, for sure, for sure at my website, inclusiveastrology.com. This is a one hour presentation going into the whole entire month. All these eclipses, do not miss this awesome download. And let's talk about these eclipses, right? The moon today is gonna be at its first quarter square. So we are about a week away from the big eclipse starting. And so there's some things to prepare for. We also have a Mercury retrograde, which is gonna happen in the next three days. So the universe is about to make some big shifts here. And as if you didn't think it could get any more crazier, today is kind of intense. That's because the moon starts to come over Pluto, which Pluto is the most intense planet, right? And it's in Capricorn, which can be all about control and having it be one certain way. That's because Capricorn is only determined to reach a certain point in our lives. And when you have the moon here, there's not much comfort, you know? It, it, it can be a little bit cold, and sometimes there's just this aspect of wanting to control things and get to a certain place. But in Libra, where the sun and Venus are making powerful squares to the moon and Pluto today, there's this aspect of us needing to learn to chill, needing to learn to find the harmony, and also with Venus and Libra, we're learning aspects of how to deal with people and relationships and how to find a happy medium and balance. That there's this hard aspect of Capricorn that needs it to be a certain way and needing to take control. And we really need to learn to work on both of these aspects. Sure, it's important to reach a destination, but the hard square between why Libra and Capricorn don't get along is Libra goes and looks at justice and what's fair Capricorn really doesn't. Capricorn's just like, nope, I am this, I am reaching this, and I am only gonna get there this way. And so we need to learn to work on both sides. Sure, we all have a destination to go to, but we all at the same time have to learn to find compromise and peace and find that harmony. And we're dealing with intense aspects inside of ourselves with Mercury, which is about to go retrograde in Scorpio. It's intense. You're in your own deep inner world. You could be stuck on one thought for so long because Mercury in Scorpio is the great detective, and that, that bloodhound is gonna sit there for an extra hour and just keep <laughs> sniffing. And there's an aspect of needing to learn to, okay, you've sniffed enough, pull out, and start to look at other aspects of things. Scorpio can be so fixed on something, and that can be a little difficult. Now, there is this grand trine and fire happening, which shows me that aspects of our life with there's powerful doors still opening around all over the place and to focus on love and to focus on positivity. But it's dealing with Uranus and Aries, which is all about learning to be more bold and still needing to be strong and, 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 and learn your independent actions of strength while finding happiness and while learning to, with Mars and Sagittarius, be bold and take actions in new ways or trying to learn from the actions you take. So even though a grand trine of fire is great and I think it's lighting up some great aspects in our life, I think if we're looking at a day like today and what's preparing here is there is much more internal things we're going as the external is opening up so much greatness. How are you handling your inner world and the relation to those big great outer world things? Um, it, it, it kind of plays for these great out, outer circumstances but these really difficult inner circumstances to deal with. And so it's kind of a, a spiritual test that we're stepping into. And there's an aspect of needing to learn to harmonize, relax, find the peace while still staying in the driver's seat, which is never easy. But if you ever watch anybody on the road, you know, you can see that there is a certain rhythm you can find. And today's one of those days where if you learn to find that rhythm and you learn to really know where you're going, but remembering that sunsets only come at a certain time of the day that you can't make a sunset happen at noon. Sometimes you have to realize patience pays off and going with the flow pays off as well. Check out my website, inclusiveshology.com. If you have any questions or if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me or get my big new webinar, check it all out at inclusiveastrology.com. Thanks so much and I will see you tomorrow.